Good morning. We're here at the Bear Lake Trailhead in the Rocky Mountain National Park. And it's about 6.20 in the morning. And I like when the parking lot looks like this. Look at how empty it is. And this is going to be the first hike with the new Nikon B700. And check this out, guys. We got zoom again. And we're going to be going for another lake tour today. This one's going to be part two, the northern edition of Bear Lake. And we should be able to get six of them. And we're starting off here. It's just before 6.30. And the first lake is going to be Bear Lake. this first trail split we're gonna go ahead and take a right in the direction of Odessa Lake this part of the trail through here is just exceptionally beautiful you got all these rocks lying in the trail the aspen trees yeah this is a really great part Looks like they haven't quite started turning yet, but soon. We're up here to the second trail split where we want to hit a hard left and continue on towards Odessa and Fern Lake. And the sun just popped up, it's starting to light up the mountains. It's beautiful. After that first initial half mile of uphill, it really does flatten out after that. This is fantastic. I am really enjoying walking on this flat surface right now. Within 30 minutes, we're now up here to the third trail split where we want to stay to the right and head over to the Odessa Lake, Fern Lake area. Looking out there to Mount Wu, and I'm loving this trail so far. Real pleasant, nothing crazy, and it's really pretty. Looking up at Notch Top, and we've just arrived at this nice little clearing here. And then over to the right, this is going to be Joe Mills Mountain. We basically need to go around that mountain to the left and then down in front of it. Just before you come to that big turn in the trail that wraps around Joe Mills, there is a split right here. And this is going to take you down to Two Rivers Lake and I think Marigold Pond as well. I'm not sure. We might even get Lake Helene down here. There's like three lakes that are real close together. It's just before 8.15 and we're up here to the Two Rivers Lake. This is a real pretty one. 
you have to hike off the trail to get to it. But it's well worth it. I mean, it doesn't even take three minutes to get down here. I'd say that little side trail is maybe 20 yards or so. But this is a real pretty lake. And unfortunately, I think we missed Marigold Pond. It's t a tiny little thing, though. Look across the way. See him? See him? See the big moose over there? We spent a few minutes up here at Two Rivers Lake. Saw that moose cross the water. That was awesome. But we need to hike up out of here and on to the third lake, which is going to be Lake Helene. Instead of hiking back up to the trail, over and down to Helene, we're just going to try to bushwhack our way around Two Rivers over to Helene. It's literally right next door. I definitely feel like there's a little trail back through here. So we're going to stay on this and we're hoping it takes us right over to the next lake. There's three of them right there. There's one on the trail. There's one to the right of the trail. And there's this guy right up here. looking up at Notch Top. That looks awesome from down here. Fantastic. What a beautiful day. And we're seeing all kinds of wildlife. I mean, pika, marmots, weasels, moose. And we're not even to the third lake yet. making our way down to Lake Helene, lake number three. There it is, Lake Helene.
next on the list is going to be Odessa Lake. We're going to have to merge back with the trail and take it on down a bit. We're back on the main trail and we're going to start the massive descent down to Odessa Lake. And this is a really pretty part of the trail when you do this downhill section because you just have these epic views over to the left. We're back in the trees again as we continue to drop down to Odessa Lake. It's way down there. Okay, and we've made it down here to the trail split. I feel like I'm hiking in a postcard right now. This is unbelievable. I mean, I know this camera's nice and it, and it shoots a good picture, but I guarantee you it's not doing this justice right now. This is just unbelievable. And we're up here. Lake number four. Odessa Lake. And this one might be the most beautiful lake so far. Awesome. 
about ready to drop in onto Fern Lake. So we're basically going to have to make our way around, it looks like about half of Fern Lake, to get over to the other side where the little sandy beach area is and that's where the trail connects. This trail is really cool back here on the far side of Fern Lake. And it's official, lake number five, Fern Lake. Just did a whole Fern Lake video earlier in the year. So we're gonna go ahead and keep on moving. No need to spend a bunch of time up there. And then next on the list is gonna be Spruce Lake. And just down the trail, I mean like literally just like 10 yards down the trail from the Fern Lake. You know, pick this up right here. Take it on over. We're looking at nearly a mile out each way, so a mile out and a mile back. But it's going to be worth it. It's going to be lake number six. And just a few more yards up the trail, you get another split. We want to stay to the right. Looks like we've got some uphill. The first little bit of this unimproved trail over here to Spruce Lake is real steep. But don't give up on it. It doesn't last that long. And now we're up here to this really beautiful, somewhat flat part. We're on a real severe downhill section right now on our way to Spruce Lake. So this is going to be fun coming back. And if there weren't enough rocks on this trail, we've now got to the little mini boulder field. It's not too bad though. It's actually kind of fun. And after a real easy side hike, we're up here. Lake number six, Spruce Lake. Yeah, this lake isn't too exciting.
as we're encountering a bunch of people coming up the Fern Lake Trail, which was to be expected, I'm not gonna lie, they're eyeballing my new camera. It's pretty flashy. We're real close to the trailhead now. And this is just the most beautiful trail. It's 1.40 in the afternoon, and we're back to the Fern Lake Trailhead. All right. But you know what sucks now? Is we have to hike like another mile down this road to pick up the bus. It's not a mile, it's only 0.7. I'm thinking by the time we get back to the bus stop here, we will have hiked at least 11 miles, maybe more. I'm gonna have to add up all the little pieces. But it was a pretty stiff hike. All right, I am looking forward to sitting on this bus. Never before have I been so eager to ride a bus. See that right there, guys? That's the bus stop. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Oh my gosh. We've been hiking now for about seven hours total. That's with brakes included. And we're here. We're done with the hike. Now we just need to wait for a bus to show up. And from what I understand, it could be quite lengthy between visits here at this remote pickup spot. We did it, high five. Boom. Yeah, that was like 11 miles. And we've been sitting here for maybe five minutes and there's our savior right there. The visitor's shuttle. Yes! Next stop, Bear Lake Trailhead. And we're back to the Bear Lake Trailhead. All right. Walking on over to the car now. That was a pretty long bus ride up. I'm thinking like 30 minutes, easy. I can't believe we hiked that far, wow. We hiked right through the middle of the park. We're back, and the hike is finally over. And that was a really pretty one. We saw lots of great wildlife along the way, and just the scenery was outstanding, as usual, in the Rocky Mountain National Park. So hope you liked it, and until the next one, y'all, peace.